Hey guys, this is Reggie. Uh, so this is in the afternoon and it's getting dark, so I don't know how the video is going to be. But, quick video, I hope. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So I'm driving around uh, my old neighborhood, right, where I grew up at. Because um, I had to go, uh, I sold something, so I had to go uh, give it to the guy and he was going to pay me, etc. But anyway, so I'm driving around in that neighborhood, because that's the way to go. Car Google. And I'm seeing how the neighborhood has changed when i was growing up you know i mean young pretty, yeah, pretty young um not even high school it was nice we could walk around um uh, weren't scared of getting stabbed or, or 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 shot or or robbed or something but now driving around the through the neighborhood not even around through the neighborhood i'm scared shitless <laughs> I'm worried that I might get fucking robbed or something. <laughs> like, the neighborhood has gone to shit, man. Like, what happened? Back when my back in my day, you could, you could say that, yeah, this neighborhood was nice. It was a great place to live at. It was safe. Now, I do not even want to turn that street. Google, what the hell's wrong with you, Google? Why'd you tell me to go that way? But uh, it's pretty sad seeing how... Over the course of what, um, I guess, well, I guess 20 years, um, the place has just gone to shit. Damn, that's not actually not even 20 years, yeah. Um, man, I was just talking to my wife about it, I'm like, what the hell happened? It went from such a nice neighborhood to what the fuck kind of neighborhood, you know? And you could tell the people, uh, for example, like, while driving there, two idiots in two different cars were doing donuts in the middle of the street. And there's traffic, there's cross traffic going. They don't care, they're doing donuts, you know, and everybody has to wait for them to finish their activity. And uh, once they were done, then we, everybody was going through, and then um, like just a block down, they did it again. And, they're, and there's cars parked, and there's people, you know, there were people walking, and there's cars driving, but they didn't care, they were doing it. Now, I'm not saying that these two are making the neighborhood ghetto, but then I started looking at how the neighborhood turns out and it might sound messed up right me saying that from you know that it's ghetto because I think it is but this is from my perspective right I'm seeing it uh, because I, I've lived there in the past and now I'm looking at it now comparing I can say from the past how it was to now how it is it is a difference and this is what I call ghetto like like you're about to get robbed or shot or hurt kind of ghetto like you know that kind of stuff but and, and that's pretty sad like what made that happen is it the housing economy? You know, the neighborhood got super dirt cheap, so folks that are not rich, I, I don't know, I'm putting quotes, but um, broke or something, go here. But then broke broke people aren't ghetto, you know? Idiots that, that are trying to be thuggish are ghetto, you know? So I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know what happened. Um, now, I'm not saying everybody is an e-thug or, or ghetto ass gangster or some shit like that i'm just saying is why why do they have to do that you know why do they have to change and ruin a neighborhood the, like i bet you the the grown adults in there that live there the elderly they don't want that kind of shit going happening in the neighborhood they just want to live a nice peaceful life so it's just it's just why 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 do that stuff you know if you want to do burnouts and stuff, go find another safe environment and do it there. I mean, I was a kid, and by the way, these two, those two didn't look like kids; they looked like adults. I was a kid, you know. I wanted to do stupid things, but you didn't see me going around in public, um, crowded areas and doing stupid stuff like stuff like this, where you could hurt others. You know, I had, I had intelligence. You know, I, I, was, I was smart. I hope, I hope, uh, and I didn't risk other people's lives. So, I don't know, just, just seeing that kind of made me wonder, like, why, why, why ruin it? I mean, you live there. You, is that what you want to live in? That, like, the, what you're causing? You live in the place that you're causing to become crap. You know, you're causing to it. So, don't you want to help improve it? I, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking that too loud. But, um, yeah, I, I don't miss that place. Don't miss it at all. Anyway, uh, the quick, quick two, you know, quick thought about that. Two cents on on that kind of stuff. 
Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, like the video if you liked it. Thumbs up, please. Um, comment below uh, if you guys have uh, experience like that. How's your old neighbor? Uh, for people who have moved in their lifetime, you know, several times or even once or twice, if you ever go back to your old uh, uh, community, uh, is it ghetto? Is it hella high class? Are there snobs? Like, like how is the old community that you grew up in? Would you go and live there again? And if you don't have kids, would you go live there after you've had kids and established a family? Uh, that, that's the big one, right? Now, you got to think as a family man, not as I'm a young kid, blah, blah, blah. You got to think like that. Because remember, you, you now have kids in case you don't. But would you go and live there again? Me personally, hell no. My kids are more important than that shit. I, I want them to, to be safe, you know. But yeah. Anyway, subscribe, comment below. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.